Let's talk about the eight causes of numbness. Now, there's four main categories of numbness. You have paresthesia, which could be pins and needles. Yes, it's true that when you have the sensation of pins and needles, that's considered numbness. Don't ask me why, but it is. Uh, tingling or crawling feeling. Then you have burning pain. Then you have a hypersensitive situation where the, the nerve is hyperactive and it's causing an exaggerated sensation. That would be considered numbness. And then you have what most people consider numbness, which is a complete loss of sensation. It's dead. You can't feel it anymore. All right, let's go down the list and talk about each one. And by the way, I have a video on each one of these. It's in the description, so you can check it out as I go through it. So number one, MS, okay? This is an autoimmune condition where your immune system is attacking itself, the central nervous system in your brain. From that inflammatory state, you can have all sorts of neurological issues. Numbness would be one of them. If you have this, you need high dosages of vitamin D and you need to do intermittent fasting. I Check out the link below. Okay, number two, diabetes. Diabetes is a condition where you have high blood glucose. So that high glucose that shouldn't be there destroy the vascular system and the tiny capillaries that actually feed the nerves. So basically you're starving the nerves. And this is why you'll feel numbness and tingling in your the toes, in your fingertips, and the bottom of your feet. A very good remedy for this would be benfotamine. You'll see it in the video, as well as going on a healthy keto diet, cutting out your carbs and doing intermittent fasting. It works like a charm. Number three, a pinched nerve. Okay, so whether it's coming from the neck or the low back, wherever it's pinched, whether it's from a disc or for some other reason, like a tumor or whatever, it can actually create numbness in your fingers or your feet. Number four, virus. Let's say you had shingles which is a virus that is invading a nerve root and it's in an active state. Um, that can damage the nerve and cause numbness as well. The key is to stay healthy enough to keep this in remission. Number five, carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a problem with the nerves and the blood vessels that go through this little tunnel through your wrist. Um, it can come from many different causes. I have a video on it, you can watch it, but vitamin B6 works really good on carpal tunnel syndrome but one of the symptoms of this is numbness in the fingertips. Number six, decreased blood flow. Let's say you, you had a stroke, a TIA, or you had a heart attack because um, you had a clogged artery or you just had angina. That can create a problem on the left side of your arm that goes down into the fingertips and cause numbness in that area. Or if there's brain damage from a stroke, that can also create numbness in the opposite part of the body. Number seven, B12 deficiency. Realize that you have about a year of storage of B12, so it won't show up right away, but down the road, if you're not consuming B12, it can create some serious neurological problems, numbness being one of them, and in some cases, it can't be reversible because it's too far gone. And number eight, which is very interesting, decrease calcium. It's called hypocalcemia. Low calcium in the blood produces convulsions, arrhythmias, tetany, bruising, and numbness, another cause of numbness, simply because calcium is involved in the sodium pump in the cells, and if it affects the calcium balance, it also affects sodium, and that alone can interrupt in the flow of nerves, and you can actually have numbness. Also, low vitamin D could cause Decrease calcium because vitamin D is involved in the absorption of calcium by 20x in, this, in the intestine. If your liver is not healthy, uh, maybe you're not producing the bile to help you absorb the vitamin D to help you absorb calcium. Or let's say, for example, in your small intestine, you have a malabsorption issue, you can't absorb minerals. That could cause this. Or if your stomach is not acid enough, which by the way, this is very, very common, and this one's very common, hint, hint. So if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid, chances are you're gonna have symptoms like GERD, acid reflux, uh, indigestion especially. Calcium is not gonna be absorbed that well and you can become deficient. All right, there you have it, the eight causes of numbness. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story.
please share it in the link down below.